New here at noon, we do have our first look at the two men accused of separate downtown attacks taking place on Monday, appearing in court just hours ago. Sean Coates faces an attempted murder charge after police say he tried to cut two people's throats with a knife. Hours after that incident near 4th Street Live, a man suffered a beating with a hammer outside the Brown Hotel. Andrew Hoke faces a first degree assault charge in connection to that incident. Our Connor Stephan was there as the two of them faced a judge learning more about those charges they face. Connor. Brooke, the two suspects didn't say much in court today, though their alleged involvement in these violent attacks prosecutors say speaks for themselves. Both Coates and Hoke entered not guilty pleas, even though police said both admitted to their involvement in the two attacks. 37 year old Sean Coates was the first to appear before the judge, along with an attempted murder charge. He also faces first degree assault charges. During his arraignment, the judge kept his bond at $1 million full cash, deciding to do so in her words because Coates' file is, quote, riddled with prior violent offenses. 40-year-old Andrew Hoke was next. He again faces a first-degree assault charge, citing mental health issues. His attorney asked the judge to lower his bond. Mr. Hope suffers from some pretty severe mental health issues. I think that incarceration for Mr. Hope is, is, is not the most beneficial uh, place for him at the moment. Um, I do understand the serious nature of the allegations against him at this time. I certainly hope that there's more to the story. The county prosecutor instead asked the judge to raise Hoke's bond, citing his three prior violent convictions, including assault, terroristic threatening, and stalking. The judge decided to keep Hoke's bond at its original $75,000 full cash amount, adding conditions of house arrest, house arrest if he is able to post bail. Brooke, both Coates and Hoke are ordered back in court November 3rd in the newsroom. Connor Stephan, WHAS 11 on your side.